Hello, it's Chris here, and in this video, I'm going to tell you about the money that I've made from the App Store. And this is almost like a follow-up to my previous video on the question, can you make money with apps? So last week, my wife and I had decided that finally enough was enough and that we would tackle our budget. So I logged into my online banking and I saw this account that uh, I, I forgot I even had. It's a US dollar account and I'm in Canada, so we use Canadian dollars. And so this account was for my little eBay businesses back in the day. So you can see that um, I opened this account forgetting that I had it and I was very surprised to see this transaction here. And you can see this is the only transaction I had in June. Like I said, I don't really use this account. Um, so yeah, June 8th, incoming wire transfer from Apple, $98.51. And I thought, how the heck could that happen? I didn't expect to make any money from the App Store. In fact, I'm paying for that Apple membership, um, the iOS developer membership. It's like $110 or $100 a year, right? So in my mind, I'm giving Apple hundred dollars every year now you know you can imagine my surprise seeing that Apple's giving me some money back so I hop into my iTunes connect and I jump into payments on financial reports so I didn't see anything uh, in June here there's not much to see here but I go back two months and I see that indeed they sent this payment to me uh, on June 8th here and this is from April because it's delayed two months, all these payments. So this report is a little bit confusing, but let me walk you through it. And I hope I am allowed to show you guys this. <laughs> I did check out their uh, terms and conditions. I didn't see anything um, saying that I couldn't. So it actually lists how much money you've made um, by these places here. Um, you can see here that this balance the column is in local currency and then there's like um, how much you earned pre-tax total and then taxes and adjustments exchange rate blah 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 and this last column here on the right is how much money you've made and if I scroll all the way to the bottom you're going to see that the big chunk of that $98 came from ad revenue so that's interesting because the only place I had ads was in this app that I built way, way back then. And I probably didn't even mention this in the previous video, but it was for Blizzard's game Hearthstone. It's a card game. And this was a free app. It basically showcased some YouTube videos of um, Trump, this guy, not, not Donald Trump, but uh, Trump. He's a Hearthstone player who's really good. And this kind of um, showcase some of his videos. So this was the app that I put out for free and it used iAd. So as you know, or maybe you haven't heard, but iAd shut down. So I don't even know. I don't think this app is showing a banner advertisements anymore. As you can see, it was released and last updated in j end of July, 2014. So I haven't updated this app. I kind of just forgot about it. So I had this app showing uh, banner ads. I also had Magic Hat, which I told you guys about down here. So I click on this guy and you see that this is a, actually a paid app. This is a dollar. And it's really nice to see that we have some good reviews. I have to show my friend who we built, who built this, who did, he did the art for this. Okay, so if we go back to this report, um, you can see of this payment, uh, all of these different countries here. And then finally down here, uh, we have the ad revenue. So it's interesting to see um, how that ad revenue came to be. So if I jump all the way back to 2014 in July, when that Hearthstone app was released, it was released on the 28th, right? So I earned like 31 cents in the last three days of July. And if we scroll, uh, in August, we earned 460, earned four dollars. Now, keep in mind, this was just an app that I published. I didn't do any advertising for it at all. 
or anything like that. And I think it was just based on the popularity of the game that people would search for it on the App Store and they would download it and use it. And maybe based on the popularity of Trump as well. Um, so you can see I was earning about $5 a month, give or take. This time, this month was a good one. This was $8. Uh, but you can see the balance slowly accumulating. So $5 a month, I thought nothing of it. Um, I didn't even pay any attention to it. And I forgot about it completely. And kind of fast forward until 2017 in June. So that, or April rather. So that ad revenue, $76 combined with the sales of Magic Hat up here, um, that put me over the edge of a payout. So you need to accumulate about $100 for them to pay out to you. Otherwise, it just sits in an account or their account and the balance carries forward to the next month. So you can see here in May, uh, we sold two more units of Magic Hat. So I earned 72 cents and 70 cents respectively. So now I have a balance of like a dollar fifty. So who knows now that I added shut down and this app isn't really bringing in any money anymore, any ad revenue, who knows how long it's going to take me to reach the next $100 to get paid out. <laughs> but you know, what's going to be interesting is maybe we should do this on the YouTube channel. Um, I'm going to take this app and change out the I ad monetization for something that is <laughs> actually running and um, able to generate ad revenue, maybe like ad mob or something like that, and to resubmit it. And maybe we'll keep track of it as a YouTube community and see, um, see how much money this makes. And over time, maybe we can produce more apps and try to make more money from the App Store. So this just goes to show you that making money on the App Store is no easy feat. Um, granted that, you know, I did say that for Magic Hat, we didn't try very hard to promote it. So with my next app, I think I will actually dedicate some effort into some app marketing. And I actually have someone who is very good at it. In fact, he runs his own agency and he is Steve Young from AppMasters.co. Let me see if I can just pull that up really quickly here. AppMasters.co. So uh, I wanted to actually show a picture of him, but he runs an agency that actually helps uh, companies do app promotion and app marketing for their apps. So maybe I can ask him to come onto Code with Chris and create a video for you guys, just highlighting some of his tips. He does hold uh, webinars, free webinar sessions, and he sends out free tips to his newsletter. So uh, do go and check him out if that's something that you're interested in. If you have apps in the App Store and you'd like to increase the downloads, um, go check out appmasters.co with Steve Young. Ah, I almost forgot. Steve Young actually has a YouTube channel uh, where he publishes videos pretty regularly. So check out in the description below. I'll link directly to his YouTube channel so that you can check out some of his tips and tricks. So lastly, sorry if you're disappointed to find out that it took me three years to make $98 from the App Store. Don't lose hope if you're trying to make money on the App Store. I have to say that I wasn't trying very hard at all. And I actually do think it would be a very interesting experiment for us to uh, produce some apps, update that Hearthstone app with a new ad network, and just kind of follow that and track that and see how much money we can make from the App Store. If you want to check out the apps that I've built, they're all free. Well, Magic Hat costs money, but there are light versions. So let's view more by this developer. I'll show you. So um, there is this one, Hearthstone app, which is free. This one, I think maybe the light version. These two are the light version. Yeah, so there are free versions of Magic Hat as well that you can check out for free. I'll put the links in the description below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.